Hi there, my name is Jason Anteo and today's video is all about the importance of confidence in your daily life. As usual, this video is completely unedited, is my honest opinion in 10 minutes or less, and it's meant to make you more successful and for me to reflect upon. So let's talk about the importance of confidence in your daily life and how you can become more productive and more successful as an individual. Confidence. I'm not even going to waste time explaining it to you because I know you have things to do and everybody by this time, if you've watched my videos, if not watched the previous ones, understands the importance of confidence in being a successful individual. But confidence is also critical in being productive. It's absolutely critical in being productive. Now, confidence as it stands in my life and up to my point of success in life and based on my extrapolation of where I want to get and where I want to be, really has a fundamental set of components that are going to take me to a level where I'm able to be a greater individual and get to where I want to be. And really, I've, I've broken those down. And I'll start with the first point, which in the interest of time, which is not wavering in a crisis. It is so important, and confidence relates to the ability, and is so importantly related to the ability of being, of not, not wavering in a crisis. And so what this means, and really what this relates to, another video of mine is teamwork. When you're working and when you're being productive, you're no doubt going to have to be in a team setting. And so when you're in a team setting, there is always a situation of crisis. Now this crisis doesn't literally mean uh, crisis in its standard utopian definition. What it means is kind of like struggle. It stands for struggle, it stands for uh, disagreement, and it stands for high pressure. And so, using that definition of, of crisis, confidence gives you the ability to work without wavering yourself, being unwavered in, in a situation. And this is not only going to benefit you as an individual, but it's critical to being successful and to allow other people to realize that they can rely on you and that you have what it takes to be a successful individual and that's absolutely key when you're working uh, and when you're trying to be more productive is the ability to not waver in a crisis. I'd say the second most important thing of confidence uh, or effect of confidence is acting with clarity. When you act with clarity it means that you, you, you act in a manner and your demeanor itself is of an individual that understands what they need to do, how they need to get that thing done, that particular goal, and they're just going to get it. And they don't care if people understand what they're doing or if people don't understand, but they are going to get it nonetheless. And so acting with clarity is closely related with confidence because it shows that you know exactly what you're doing, that you know where you want to get, you understand the goals that you're going to need to execute to get there, and you're willing to do that. And so when you understand that, and all you need is you, you to understand that. All you need is yourself to understand that. But as a benefit, if other people understand that as well, you're going to get to a level where you are truly able to understand what you need to get done to be a successful individual. The second, or the th rather the third component uh, of being confident, or benefit of being confident, and as it relates to your productivity and your success, is always having an answer. When you think of confidence, I want you personally to always think of the ability to have an answer to any question. You look at any uh, charismatic speaker, you look at any individual who's successful or in the public eye or a public, uh, public servant, for example, a prime minister, a president, a spokesperson, uh, any sort of person like that, and you'll see that they always have the ability to have an answer. And their answers are, uh, when, even when they don't know something, their answers aren't going to be shitty. They're not going to be an excuse. Their answers are always going to be unique and are always going to relate to their confidence. When you go out there, when you're trying to be successful, you need to be confident to the ability that you're able to answer any question that's thrown at you without wavering and acting with clarity. And so, really, to train for this, you can just watch any public speaker speaking, uh, but really, a good, a good example of that would be like, for example, every morning on the news, at the, at the time of this, at the time of this uh, video being made, in society, uh, there's a lot of interviews going on with, for example, like uh, the White House, the White House press secretary in the United States. If you watch it, 
if you watch those those public uh, public communication series and you really analyze the strengths and weaknesses of the public speakers you will understand what it takes to be an individual who can speak confidently because those people are professionals and they're so good at speaking in a public setting and you look at any public speaker uh, that's just a particular example but you look at any public speaker and you understand truly that they have a level of confidence that make that makes them successful and that's really why they are of such benefit being uh, people who are able to convey ideas with clarity succinctly concisely and get the message across and what that's what you need to do you need to uh, not, there's one thing to do it in your work to be concise in your work but you need to be confident in your communication with others as well and that is critical and I'd say the last component and benefit of being confident is always being able to keep calm in a situation. Confidence is so related to keeping calm and keeping calm is related to my next video which you're going to watch tomorrow because you're going to subscribe and you're going to watch it. Obviously that's a joke. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, it's up to you. But this is for your own benefit. Keeping calm is so important when you're trying to be confident because the ability to keep calm relates to your ability to understand what you're doing and it relates to all the past points I spoke about. But truly and honestly, when you're calm, you inspire other people to understand that what you're doing is going to lead to your success as, as an individual. And by keeping calm, you're able to keep a flow of ideas, of communication. If you've noticed throughout all these videos of me speaking, I try to, as much as I can, keep a constant flow of communication because I want to keep you, the individual who's trying to be a better person, engaged. And while that shouldn't be the case that you need to be entertained to watch this video, you need to be able to keep calm. So this is a really, really silly example of keeping calm, but I'm keeping calm right now in, in my video by communicating in a smooth way. And that's the benefit of keeping calm. And when you're working and when you're talking and when you're thrown with a question on the spot, you need to make sure that you're also able to keep calm and get to a level of success where you want to be. Because you need to remember at the end of the day, you're trying to accomplish your goals. And you're only going to be able to accomplish your goals if you're confident, if you stay calm, and if you follow the other components I've told you about in my past videos. That being said, it's incredibly important to remain confident to remain confident to strive for confidence in all you do if you want to understand more about confidence you can watch this video again and again as much as you want watch other people's videos do your own research and understand and really learn by example watch other people who are confident or who you consider confident to the level that you want to be and you'll get to that level but you need to put it into practice you need to put your application into practice because practice makes perfect and confidence gets you to a higher level of productivity and success to summarize confidence leads you to being able to not waver in a crisis to act with clarity to always have an answer and to keep calm in any situation if you enjoyed this video like it subscribe to have my next video message to you directly and personally other than that i hope you have an awesome day and see you tomorrow